I am struggling with my vlog a little bit lately. Um, you probably noticed I changed my schedule from weekly to bi-weekly. And that's mainly because I'm not sure if I found the right format for, for what I want to do. Um, maybe I'm not sure what I want to do with it all together. I just like to have a platform where I can talk to you. But right now it feels it's just it feels one directional, if that is even a word. So I feel weird just talking into the camera about stuff that I want to talk about. So this morning I tweeted that I feel uninspired and that I'm looking for topics and suggestions that I should, you know, talk about in my vlog. And I think that that might be a good, oops, I think that that might be a good idea. So let's check Twitter and see what people want me, oops, and see what people want me to talk about. <clears throat> Andrew Setters asks, uh, where do you find inspiration? Any makers, artists, places that are inspiring to you? That is a great question. The place that inspires me the most is my workshop. Um, also, if you hear that weird sound, that is Smudo eating a bone. So, so good. Other than that, I really like to find new materials, new objects new tools, learn new techniques. That's always really good for new ideas. And my, I think my brain wants to combine everything that I know with what I'm learning right now and everything that I have with what I'm finding right now. And it's trying to, you know, make connections. And I think that's where my, I think that's where most of my ideas come from, I guess. So this morning I was taking Smooda for a walk and there's a huge um, old factory being torn down pretty close to my house. And I was walking by there and I found 12 p incredibly nice lamps in the dumpster. And that is very inspiring to me as well. Um, I have this crawl space in my workshop where I can store all the stuff that I find and that people bring me. And that is a very inspiring place as well. Let me, let me show you. Unfortunately, something else <laughs> lives up here. I always find poo and it smells really bad. I have a couple of those old letters. I really like them. I found that in the trash and I took it with me because of the lights and the switches. That's pretty cool. There's another one behind it. Check it out. And now let me show you the lights that I found. I cleaned them and I think they're all working. That's fantastic. There are some more lights. This is all kinds of random stuff. Oh, look. <laughs> this thing scares me every time I walk up here. Every time. Okay, let's go downstairs again. It's super smelly up here. <laughs> Finding those lights this morning really made my day. Oh, I need to show you. I need to show you the card. Check it out. It is really nice. It is really nice. All right, next one. Brian Prusa suggests to talk about being uninspired uh, and ask me if I have a sketchbook for ideas. I do have a sketchbook. It's right here. I'm very particular about my sketchbooks. Um, I think I will show you my collection. Hold on a second. Uh, I actually need to go home for this. So. Please uh, appreciate the effort I'm taking. So we're going to my home now so I can show you my old sketchbooks. Let's go. And this is where I keep my old sketchbooks. I had these little ones when I went to school. All right, after the bigger format, I switched to the really small ones. So this is probably the last two years of design school. I used these little, these little ones. And then when I quit my job last year in May, I started sketching stuff and writing stuff down again. And now I'm using these. Um, yeah, really like them. All right, so now we're back at the shop. Oop, let's get inside. Brian also suggested that I could talk about how much I love Dolly Parton. Um, he saw that I'm following her on Twitter. And it is true, I do love Dolly Parton quite a lot. I don't know what it is about me and Dolly Parton or me and country music in general, but that it just hits right into my heart. Um, when I went to the concert from Dolly, to be honest with you, I probably cried 50% of the time. I mean, happy tears, but 
yeah, I was so, I don't know. It just strikes me right into the heart. I love country music. I love Dolly Parton. I think her story is super inspirational and I really like her music. And I think it's mind blowing that she's still standing on stage playing 12 different instruments and being such a rock star. Next question is from Paul John. What's your favorite material to work with? That changes all the time. Mm, I think two months ago it was Walnut <laughs> specifically. Um, then it was Steel. Now it's Brass. I'm really into Brass, but I have a slight feeling that the next thing for me will be Aluminum. <laughs> it changes all the time, but it changes back again. So yeah, that's something that's always in flux and I like it that way. There might be something else happening today, which is, well, to me, it feels like a milestone in my YouTube or content creator career. This is super, super big, um, but I don't want to talk about it until I know if it's really happening. So Are you kidding me? <laughs> Let me explain. Um, about two weeks ago, Rockler reached out and they told me that they really like my channel and they like my projects and they offered to send me a gift. Well, <laughs> this is it. <laughs> oh man, guys, I hope, I hope this is right. I hope, you're, I hope this was meant for me because this is great. This is really awesome. Thank you so much for your support. Um, this is, a, like I said before, this is a milestone for me because stuff like that is telling me that I'm heading in the right direction. And that really, really means a lot to me. Um, I couldn't be happier. This, this is just awesome. Um, did you see the mini lay? This is so heavy. I couldn't lift it on the table. This is a mini lay. Can you believe that? I'm not kidding you. The project I was planning for next week would require just that. And I was trying to think of alternatives I could use, or I was actually talking to a friend who has a small lathe I could do it on because I don't have the right chucks for my big lathe. So guys, this is perfect. Thank you so much. Rockla, guys. Rockla. As you can probably imagine, I am extremely excited about this and I want to open the packages right now. So today's vlog is over. I, I still can't believe it.